Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be discussing on hashed page table. This is the third type of the page table under the heading structures of uh, structure of page tables. So in this, uh, this, this is the diagram. This is the diagram uh, given in the textbook for the uh, functioning of the hashed page table. Now, before I start explaining, once again, I am telling the same thing before I explain with respect to the diagram, I will give you the idea behind this. Now, here we are using a hashing technique in order to what search a particular element in the hash table. Now, what is hash table? Hash table is one which is going to store information about the page numbers and the frame numbers, but not one single entry will have one page number and the corresponding frame number. Rather, it is a chain of entries. So that means it is having a linked list type of information. Now, let me tell you why this particular linked list information is required here in case of uh, hashed page table technique. In hash, we are using uh, a technique called as hashing. Now, why hashing is required? Hashing technique searches a particular entry in the table very fast compared to your linear search and binary, binary search. Hashing uh, is a searching technique which is going to search an element in just one comparison. So, since it is very fast, you can go for this particular hashing technique. But for that, you have to apply the hashing function or the page number. So, CPU always produces what? The page number and the offset. So, this is what I am telling you. CPU always produces the logical address consisting of the page number and the offset. Actually, you are going to apply the hash function to the page number. So, CPU produces the logical address consisting of what? The page number and the offset. Now, you are going to use the hash function. Hash functions are of different types, multiplication, division. There are other hash functions. The one which we are going to use here is the division, okay, hash function. The hash function is applied on the page number of the logical address. Then once you apply, it will produce as a hash value. Hash value is, I have written the steps also. Hash value is mapped to an entry in the hash table. This is what the hash table, it has got entries like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like this, you will be having the different entries in the hash table. Each entry is storing what? A linked list. Fine. And I will tell you what exactly this linked list has got. Now, when you apply this hash function, to uh, hash function produces a hash value and this hash value is mapped to an entry in the hash table and then what exactly you are going to do is once you get a hash value here. Now, what will be the hash value? Now, we are using the what the uh, modulo operation and when we when we try to perform the modulo with the number of entries in the hash table let us assume this hash table has got 100 entries okay and the page number that is generated in the logical address is some uh, 305 let us assume so when you perform the modulo operation 305 modulo of how many you are going to do the modulo operation with the number of entries that are present in the hash table how many entries are there 100 entries are there so page number is 305 305 modulo operation with 100 will give you what 5 suppose imagine if your page number is 705 then 705 modulo operation will give you what 5 what is the hash value hash value is 5 in this case also hash value is 5 in this case also so, that means the same hash value is mapped to a particular location. In this location, when it's okay, when it searches this, it, when it is mapped to this hash value in the hash table, it is finding what the different information about the different pages here. One is linked with the other. So, that's why it is stored in the link in link list. Suppose now this page 1 can be of 305, page 2 is 705. Whichever uh, hash, if the hash value is mapping to one entry, okay. If the if more than one key map to an entry, it is a collision. That's the reason you are going, you are making use of the chaining operation here to avoid or to handle the collisions. So here, what it will do is when it searches this uh, location, it finds okay, this is one information of one particular page number 305. It is stored in the frame one. Then it, then after that in the link list, what now? It will point out to the address where the next uh, information about another page number is stored. Suppose if this is having some page number, some base address as uh, let us take 3000, then it will, it, this information is stored at 3000, this information. It is having what? It is having, so this information is stored here. It is having the page number 705 and some frame number. So this, this is how the complete entries which are linked, which are chained or searched until whatever is the page number that is generated from the logical address is searched. 
suppose if the let us take if the logical address is consisting of page number 705 and it is matching uh, when you ma when you apply the hash function to this page number you get an hash value the hash value is 5 5 is pointing here then hash value is having this particular information page number 1 is having 305 but your page number is 705 it is not matched so it will search the next one when it says yes there is a match found whatever is the corresponding frame number that is picked here and it will add it to the displacement value and then it reaches what the physical address that is present there in order to fetch the instruction so this is what is the advantage of hashing technique over the other ultimately our main job is what to reduce the access time also because this hash page tables are used when the logical address the number of bits that are used to represent a logical address is 64 just imagine the previous uh, topic when i said 32 bits uh, bits are used to represent a logical address then 2 to the power of 32 okay in that if suppose 20 bits are used to represent the page numbers then what is that you are having 1 million entries 1 mega entries in the page table now if you take for example 64 bits are used to represent the logical address then definitely the page table becomes very huge and to store such a consecutive, uh, so to store all the information about all the pages in one consecutive space is very difficult, will not find such consecutive space. Hence, the reason will go for the hashing technique, wherein you can store multiple entries which are mapped to one particular hash value. We call the tables that are used here to store the page information as the hashed page table. So, this is all about the hash page table and this was the third type of the page tables. The first one is the hierarchical page table, the second is the inverted page table, the third one is the hash page table. Hope you find this session useful. So please like, subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.